This is Jason W. Chan's take. Today's story, a crypto firm sent a disability worker $10 million by mistake. Months later, she was arrested at an Australian airport. Crypto.com made global headlines for a multi-million dollar error that went unspotted for months. A court case reveals how it all went wrong. Anyway, this name I won't try to pronounce. Manivel, I'll just say Manivel, had a one-way ticket to Malaysia and close to $11,000 in cash when police arrested her attempting to board a flight at Melbourne Airport in March 2022. Almost a year earlier, Crypto.com accidentally transferred more than $10 million into the 41-year-old disability support worker's Commonwealth bank account. The cryptocurrency exchange had not picked up the error at the time and only noticed seven months later during an audit. Lucky her, huh? This month, Manivel was sentenced after pleading guilty to recklessly dealing with the proceeds of crime. Well, it's not her fault that the crypto exchange accidentally sent her some money. I mean, it's not like she tricked them into sending them sending her money, right? She received an 18-month community correction order with six months intensive compliance and unpaid community work on top of the 209 days spent in custody already. Oh, this doesn't seem that bad of a sentence. Community corrections order and six months community work for $10 million. I think I would do that. That sounds like consequences that I would be willing to bear. Crypto.com made global news last year when its multi-million dollar mistake was revealed in court documents as it tried to freeze Manivel's assets. It came at a time when the cryptocurrency market was already facing uncertainty and just months before the highly publicized collapse of rival T, I mean FTX. Manivel had arrived in Australia in, in 2015 from Malaysia after she left what a court described as a controlling relationship with her husband. Her plan was to bring her three children to the country once she had settled and secured employment. She initially arrived in Hay in New South Wales. Manivel realized she would need financial stability to bring the children over to be educated. She worked as a motel cleaner, as a cashier in a supermarket, in irrigation on a cotton farm, and as a disability care worker. She also went to TAFE to earn a certificate in aged care and pathology. In 2018, she brought over her eldest, her eldest daughter, and in 2020, she met Jaytinder Singh, who became her partner and who had an interest in cryptocurrency investment. That year, Singh signed up for an account on Crypto.com but used Manivel's bank account to transfer money in exchange for cryptocurrency. Crypto.com rejected the payment because the bank account didn't match the Crypto.com account name. An Excel spreadsheet and multi-million dollar mistake. The Victorian County Court heard last year that the Bulgaria-based worker who processed the refund accidentally entered the number, the account number in the refund field in an, in an Excel spreadsheet. What should have been a $100 refund became a 104 Seven million transfer into Manivel's account. Ooh, that sounds great. Someone just won the lottery, huh? She definitely got really lucky. So there was a worker based in Bulgaria who accidentally entered the wrong... Okay, so it was a right account, but the wrong amount. The, the wrong, yeah, amount in, in cash and funds and money. Okay. Singh discovered the overpayment the following day, the court heard, and told Manivel to transfer the funds to a joint Westpac account, which they did for a majority of the money in both cash and check. In the time between when the money was transferred and when Manivel was arrested, four houses, vehicles, art, and furniture had been bought, and $4 million was transferred to an account in Malaysia. <clears throat> I see. Honestly, they should have been 
smarter about it. I don't think they actually did anything wrong. <laughs> I mean, maybe crypto, they, they maybe thought they got lucky with their crypto investment. That's why they were being paid so much. Right? But uh, where they went wrong was getting caught. There could have been lots they could do. They should have transferred all of it out of their Australian bank account and then closed that damn bank account and then left freaking Australia forever. Right? Because once you go somewhere else, it's harder to actually catch you once you leave your country. And of course, it depends on what kind of extradition treaty your the country you escaped to has with your home country. You know, but let's see. All right, an audit by Crypto.com in December 2021 discovered the error, and the company then began chasing Commonwealth Bank for the funds. <laughs> well, it's not the bank's fault. It's not Commonwealth Bank's fault, that's for sure. The Commonwealth Bank contacted Manimel multiple times in January 2022, seeking the return of the money, during which the $4 million was transferred overseas. Manivelle later told police she thought these attempted communications were scam attempts, and when she spoke to the bank, she was told it was probably a scam. There we go, right? She thought they were trying to scam her. It's not her fault she didn't reply to them. She was just being extra cautious, very careful. She also told police that Singh had claimed he won the money through a crypto.com competition. Ooh, that sounds great. Oh, so she didn't know. Or maybe she did. Who knows, right? Who knows who knew what when? After her arrest, Manivelle was held in custody for 209 days until October last year. Judge Martin Marich said in her sentencing remarks that the money had been recovered and there was no sinister intent proven up to the point where the Commonwealth Bank had informed her of the error. At this point, through your behavior, at this point, though your behavior turned cynical and was motivated by self-interest, well, obviously, who isn't, Marich said, it represented a shortcut to the financial goal that you had previously endeavored to pursue to pursue through your sheer hard work. Well, who doesn't want to share a shortcut to their financial goal? And who the hell can get rich by working as a disability support worker? Sheer hard work does not mean you'll get rich. And who doesn't want the security of having a large sum of money in the bank? Anyway, at this... Okay, I was... Marich noted that the proceedings had added uncertainty to Manivelle's visa process. She is now undertaking a bachelor in science. I see. Oh, so she's not even Australian. She is just um, there in Australia on a probably a student visa or something. Singh was charged with theft and is due to face plea hearing on October 23rd. A luxury five-bedroom at Craig Byrne property in Victoria, which was bought using the money for $1.35 million in February 2022. I think they might mean Australian dollar. Was sold in December that year for $1.27 million. Ooh, they sold at a loss. The Daily Mail reported before its sale that the property was empty and was overgrown with weeds, suggesting no one lived there. Crypto.com declined to comment on the case. The company told Guardian Australia in a statement that it had changed its practices since the, the error occurred. Like any company operating in financial services, we are constantly advancing and evolving our internal processes to ensure the highest levels of security and compliance, a spokesperson said. This includes updates to our refund and withdrawal systems following this incident. Well, duh, they'd be stupid not to do a, a review and audit. Something went wrong, obviously. Anyway... What would you have done if you received $10 million in the bank by mistake? Would you flee? I certainly would. I would just flee Australia. Uh, but that's easier said than done. If you don't have Australian... I mean, if you don't have a bank account in another country other than your own, that makes it more difficult. So the smart thing to do would have been to transfer all that money out of her account. All of it. So instead of spending it on the luxury apartment or whatever... Uh, leave Australia altogether. You know, it's, that way they can't chase you. And the laws in other countries, especially in the not as developed countries, they're probably less strict when it comes to gray areas like this. I mean, it's not as if she had scammed the crypto firm. 
right? They just sent it to her, that sum, $10 million by mistake. So because of that, you know, it's not like she was being dishonest. In any case, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. This has been at Jason W. Chan's take. As usual, keep pursuing your dreams and passions. Well, God knows they tried until they got caught, right, by the Australian courts.